him take this mic. For me? For him. Welcome, Holy Spirit, be here in your presence, fill me with your power, live inside of me. Everybody, you everybody desire, oh Holy Spirit. You're the living water, never drying fountain. Comforter and counselor, take complete control. Welcome, Holy Spirit, be here in your presence. Fill us with your power, live inside us. Holy Spirit, be here in your presence, fill us with your power, live inside of me, you're the living water, never drying fountain, comforter and Live inside of me. Come on, everybody. Oh, yeah. Welcome, Holy Spirit. We are in your presence. Fill me with your power. Live inside of me. Live inside of me. Thank you. So, do you really believe that the Holy Spirit is living inside you? Yes. yes. Is it fire? Yes. Or water? Or a person? Person. Person. That's what. He is the third person of the Trinity. And you know, now, in the YouTube, these videos will become like this. See, you will see like this, you know. Oh, yes. When you see the video, it will be like this. Mm -hmm. Now you see the Tao, which is phenomenally symbol of Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. correct? Yes. Why this Tao? So what happens when a Tao comes inside us? <laughs> what the Tao will do inside us? Why a Tao? is the symbol of Holy Spirit. You know, the engineer brothers, the Wright brothers, they found from the Tao a very good idea. That is how they invented the aeroplane. So what is the idea they got? They understood when this Tao have to fly, the Tao will open the wings. And the power is in the wings. And in the wings there are so many controls to come down, go up, everything is in the wings. So that is how the aeroplane is invented. Now we are familiar now with the aeroplane. What is on the wings of the aeroplane? The motor, the engine, the turbine. Now imagine Holy Spirit it's a Tao with the two engines. What are the two engines of Holy Spirit? Father and Son. Oh, very good. <laughs> so when you say, come Holy Spirit, don't say it very small way. Come Holy Spirit! <laughs> when he comes, he comes with the whole family of God. <laughs> when, so therefore be careful when we say come Holy Spirit he cannot come alone he cannot come alone he cannot come alone 
because <coughs> he is consubstantial with the Father and the Son. He cannot come without his two wings. Understand? Okay. So let us have this small understanding now. Now we have done a little workshop. It is a first beginning. It is like learning driving. When you have learned driving, you had a trainer with you and the trainer will give you a hit on your hand and uh, come on hold strongly and drive this way even though the car was going this way, that way then he was holding you but now even you can drive without holding on the wheel <laughs> so that is how it is so you need someone to help you it is a training so don't think whatever happened is final it is only a beginning but the confidence comes when you speak what happened in each one of you. You have to speak this. That is the session now. So I am not speaking. You each one have to come here. Sit with me. I am the trainer. Yeah. I will give you a hit. <laughs> I will give you a knock. <laughs> if you are not doing good, I will... <laughs> like a child I will make you I am the trainer so you must uh, you must speak so when you speak I will understand what happens and if there is some corrections I will say so it is not only for you for every one of us so then you must speak slowly what exactly happened when I prayed, I was not getting any idea. Then I thought, uh, this is not for me. But slowly I happened to see a picture. Then I happened to hear a voice. Like that you have to explain everything in a detailed way. Mm -hmm. Then that gives another person, oh, I also saw a, a picture like that. But I never thought it is Holy Spirit. So... I did not even told to these people. Now I know. So like that, we have to, we have to have a confirmation. So when you speak, the other person get a more confidence. All right. So we are helping one another in growing. We are helping one another in growing. So come from group number one. One by one can come, then and you can speak. All this will be recorded. People will be watching this later on, and it will be like a it will be an evangelization. So first of all, when you come up and speak, your first gift of proclamation is already activating. Activating the gift of proclamation. God says, go. To the whole creation and speak. Go to the whole world and speak. This is how. Now this what you speak. It will be. It can be seen all over the world. So don't be shy. Okay. Come on. Start. Yeah, now Marcus. So this is Marcus. He, is, he has completed his study for to become a priest. Is waiting for the permission or approval from the bishops and the and the important authorities. Then immediately he can receive the. So let us all extend our hands yes. and pray, yes. not yes. only for him, for the bishop who is supposed to give permission. Yes. So let us pray, O Lord, bless Marcus, bless his uh, leaders, bless the bishop who is supposed to ordain him. Bless the Vicar General Beck, bless all the responsible persons. Oh, Mother Mary, you are the queen of apostles. You are the queen of priests. You do it. You bless this. We, he, he has come first time in this knock to get the complete uh, blessing of Blessed Mother. Amen. Amen. How you speak.
He is from Austria. Okay. Yes. 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 Uh, I'm very happy that Thomas Ball invited me here to Ireland because uh, I've never been here on th this island, you know. So uh, I heard about the Irish people that they're very faithful, uh, and uh, also when we go there, we, we drove here to knock. Uh, I could see the beautiful, beautiful landscape and and uh, the sheep and all these things. I uh, uh, was really amazed. In our group, we have been four people. And then another man came later, we also prayed for him. Then we prayed for each other, just we prayed for the Holy Spirit to come in our group for, for maybe 10, 15 minutes. Then I prayed for, we prayed for a person, a lady, and I got the impression that the Lord is telling me that she has a family, that she is mother and has children. And I asked this lady then, maybe it was the gift of knowledge, that, that the Lord told me like this, and I asked this lady, you, do you have your mother, you have children? Yes. Uh, and the Lord told me that she's a bit worried about the children. And uh, I told her this, and she says, yes, I'm a bit worried. Uh, and I told her as, as consoling, don't worry, the Lord will take over. Don't worry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, now, this, he got a word of knowledge. He, is, he has no idea about this particular woman, about he's married or whatever. Mm -hmm. But the word of knowledge, that is called word of knowledge. Mm -hmm. A knowledge about her situation. Mm -hmm. So when he said, she said yes. So that is a confirmation. You have the gift of word of knowledge. Yes. Yes. Even since the elders told me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Very good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Then, Continue. Yes. Then I pray for another person, a man. I prayed and uh, then the, the, the Lord gave me the word mother. Uh, then I asked uh, very softly, you have or had a mother? What, what is it about her? And this man told me, yes, I had a mother. She, she died one year ago. So then I decided in my heart, uh, then in the next round I will pray further for his mother. I didn't know that uh, the mother died one year ago, I didn't know. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Okay. The friend, uh, we prayed for, for a lady, and um, I, the Lord told me that, yeah, I had contact with this lady today at lunch, but uh, the Lord told me that her husband, that, that he is not, not on life to, now, he, he died, but the Lord told me that this, this uh, uh, husband was a very good, loving husband, and it was a good uh, encountership, I can say. Marriage. Marriage, mm -hmm. yes. Now, wait a minute. How do you say, Lord told me, how, what is that? Maybe, you may be thinking, well, how can you say, Lord told me? What is, how is that Lord told me? How you understand the Lord voice? Uh, I got uh, an Somebody is speaking. Yes. Yeah. Revelation? No, no, no. You got in your brain somebody speaking to you. Yes. Correct? Yeah. Yeah. That is it. You will, you will feel in your ears or in your heart or in your brain Somebody speaking. Mm -hmm. Then we have a question, is it God or somebody else? Mm -hmm. This would be our next question. Mm -hmm. The very easy answer is, now we are all family people. Okay, think about when we are children, we telephone to Papa. Hello? Ah, Papa! <laughs> Did he say, I am your Papa speaking? Yeah. When you hear his voice, voice Hello. Huh. That is how it is. Mm -hmm. Understand? Yes. Yeah. It, it, it is a natural transmission of God as a father to his children. So the child recognizes the voice. So that is why Jesus said, I am the good shepherd, my sheep. 
listen to my voice and they know my voice. You know, in Holy Land, when we go, they used to show us the caves where the sheep and shepherds used to be there. So the shepherds keep the sheep and in one cave, there will be many group of sheep and many shepherds. So how do the, they collect the sheep? So one shepherd will come out and make his own voice. Now only his sheep will come. Yeah. No other sheep will come. Yeah. In another shepherd will have a complete different voice. Then that sheep will come. So the same way we children of God through baptism and through Holy Eucharist, God is in us, his body, his blood, his soul, his spirit and his voice. Because God originally is the word, word is the voice. So God's voice is already implanted in us because we are created through his voice. So that is how when we hear the voice of God, ah, that is God. Intelligent people say, oh, how can you say that is God? But spiritually we know when I hear the voice of my mummy, I know it is my mummy. When I hear the voice of my papa, it, I know. When I hear the voice of my child, I know. That type of a knowledge our brain has. Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, continue. So then the next round, uh, <coughs> I also prayed for this lady with the husband who died. And I prayed and asked the Lord to, to, to say me more. And uh, then I got the impression to tell her, I have the impression that your husband is now in heaven with Jesus and Mary and that is good and fine and that's it, that, is, that is saved. And she was very happy and uh, a bit emotional, you know, so yeah. touched her. Very good, okay. Uh, and um, when people prayed for me, some of the other people uh, didn't get anything, but yeah, at the beginning it's normal. And uh, one lady uh, told me uh, she, she sees or knows that I will, uh, will climb very high level of um, spirituality. So I must believe this. In okay. So that is like a prophecy, correct? Mm -hmm. So she got, she spoke. Yeah. When that is a gift of prophecy. We may not even know why I spoke this. It comes into our tongue, not in our brain. That is why God chose uh, Isaiah or all the prophets. God chose Jeremiah, a boy he was. Whenever we think about prophets means with the long hair and all these things, that is also prophets. <laughs> but. Jeremiah was a boy. He said, oh, no, I am only a boy. Don't say you are only a boy. I am sending you. You must go wherever I send you. You must speak whatever I speak to you. I put my word in your mouth. There you go. So God, in the new, okay, uh, that I will explain later on about the gift of prophecy. Okay, uh, so. Speak. One more. Yeah. Uh, and for another man, uh, I, I uh, conceived before that uh, his mother died. Then I prayed for his mother, I, I, I prayed for this. And then God told me, or I had the impression to, to tell him, uh, you had a very faithful mother. And she said, he said, yes, she was. And, and also t told him that you are missing her very much. Also he said, yes, yes. Okay. Thank you. So thank you. Welcome. Let us clap and thank you.
next person, please come. Don't, yeah. Come, once you sit here, all your fear will disappear. <laughs> I, am, I am here. I help you. Yeah, maybe we, we, we move a little bit this way. Yeah. Yes, you can tell your name. Speak. My name is Paul. Huh? This is my first time doing a workshop and uh, when I was when we were praying for each other, I didn't get anything yet. But I was just thinking, I might be like that bottle of champagne I'll pop before the three days is up. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing happened yet, but uh, I, would, I can't say that I got any message as such. Okay, but still you prayed? I prayed, yes. If you did not, even if you don't get any message, you ask the people what happened to them. Did they get something when he prayed? Yeah, um, the guy that was here before, he got, he got a message about my mother, yeah, and uh, yeah. yeah, I was listening to... You know, when you prayed for somebody, mm -hmm. did they get any feeling about your prayer? Did you tell anybody? I don't think so. Hmm? Uh, you, you got a... Yeah. Huh. What is that? Was it this, this man got great faith and... The Lord's in control. Yeah. That's exactly that. When he prayed for you. We were praying, Michael, for Paul, that he is great. Yeah. Can you, can you say it little on this? Yeah. Please keep this. Yeah. Okay. Speak. Yeah. Just speak it. Yeah. Yeah. When I was praying with Paul there, there's three more there as well. Therese and Mary. And. Um, I got that Paul has great faith, and he said that's. And he told me back that's exactly what he has great yeah, faith. Very good. Uh, so and, and the Lord is in control. Yeah, hallelujah. Thank you. Okay, you finish? Yeah. Yeah. Now the next person, please. See, even this itself is a workshop that you are first time coming in front of the light and mic and speaking this. Yes or no? Yes. Yeah. That itself is a. It's a, it's a cancer. Amen. Somebody is still shivering there. <laughs> okay, come next, please. Who is the next in the group? Group number in group number one. Who are the next? Mary and. Yes. Yes, Mary. Please sit down. Yes, you can speak. Um, this is my first time also in a group like this. And there were five people in the group at the end. I prayed with all of them, but I got no word of knowledge except for one. Uh, you will soar to great heights, and God is doing something wonderful in your life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very good. That's all. Okay. Wait a minute. Give me the mic. Sorry. So let us give a clap. This is the first time. Now, others in the group number one, there were five people in the group. Now only three has come. Other two, please come. The third, fourth person. <laughs> okay. You don't want to come. And... Uh, anybody? Yeah, you come. Yes. Yep. Well, this is my first time here as well. <laughs> <laughs> the workshop. Um, well, that's what you got for Paul now with great faith and. He's the Lord in control, so that that was all of that. Yeah. yeah. But they and, got. And okay, can you? Yeah. Know? Yeah, they didn't get any from me. Maybe it's, maybe it's. Beginning. Small, yeah, beginning. Yeah. And, and you were not here in the morning yeah. session. Okay. That's it. No, it wasn't. When are they prayed for you? Something happened? Not yet. No, not yet. No. Okay. Yeah. It's not. Others did not yet pray for you. 
uh, no, didn't, didn't get anything for okay. me. No. So we'll do that next. Yeah, fine. Okay. Anyway, okay, so. thank you for coming. You're welcome. Yeah. Thank you for Love so. And let's give a clap to him. And what's your name? Is it? Dennis. 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 Yeah. Now, group number two, please come. One by one from group number two. Group number two, please come. Yes. <laughs> Yes, you can say your name. Yeah. My name's Eilish. I have done a workshop like this before. Um, but uh, when I prayed with people, um, everybody in our group was kind of new to it. Uh, when I prayed with, I got some images, but I had no understanding of what the images meant. Um, uh, one of them was confirmed with somebody else's prayer and also um, I got um, some words from scripture for some of the people okay. and, oh, and then for the last lady I got um, for the last time we prayed the second time I just got there weren't words of scripture but there was two words uh, awakening and mm -hmm. Awakening and what was the last one? It was just two strong words. Yeah. That's all. That is, uh, you got as a voice or you opened the Bible or? No, no, I got, um, it just came into my mind, ah. the, the word. But the images were, the r images were clear, but I couldn't, I could understand, I could, I knew what they were, yeah. but I couldn't tell In what the they meant. That yes, is another yes. gift. Okay. See this, what we call images means it is a vision, Holy Spirit is giving about a situation that we can, we say it, it is the word of knowledge. Mm. And the interpretation of that is called word of wisdom. Oh. So when we pray more for the word of wisdom, when we pray, again I speak about this and when you pray for it, then you will get the interpretation also. Okay. And again, you you heard a voice. Yes. You heard. That's very important. That's yeah. a very good gift. Yeah. But uh, for one of the scripture pieces, um, it was two kings. Uh, I, I got most of it, but I didn't get the, the last, you know. Exact word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that's okay. But you understood that is from that... Uh, oh, I knew it was from yeah. Two Kings. It was two King Solomon's and, piece. Yeah. So, uh, that, is, that is like... Uh, sometimes you will even see as if written in a uh, railway station, a screen running, okay. like this. No, I haven't seen that. Yeah. Or it comes like an impression. Yeah. Or suddenly it come two king da 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 like okay. that. Okay. All right, as in the okay. Yeah? No, it, it, it came as 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 the words. Yeah. Got it didn't come. Yeah. yeah. So, and when yes. But do you want me to tell yeah, when they yes. prayed for me? Um, uh, I got. Uh, one lady gave uh, me gave me wonderful as the word and also courage. It is I. Um, a gentleman gave me. He saw a path, for me. And the color is red and maroon. Um, he he was he thought that it was related to love, and I also got the um, a word of, for protection from somebody else. Okay, so all this is called word of knowledge. It is a word, but now we 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 may we may not understand everything now, but maybe. Later on, when we are sleeping or when we are uh, in adoration, maybe the Lord say, Oh, you are wonderful. Eh? Oh, ah. yeah. so then she also told me, Wonderful. Am I really wonderful? <laughs> <laughs> we cannot often accept it. Oh, no, I am a sinful person. I am so bad. How can I be wonderful? But then this message and like that when many messages come we will come out from our inferiority complex okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay that is how this guide us all this you make and <coughs> all this has many meaning okay courage 
So maybe you have courage, but then some situation comes, suddenly you feel not courage. Yeah. Then you remember courage. Okay. It is I. Okay, oh, okay, okay, okay. Like that, it will help us to stand in situation where there are challenges comes, where we feel not so courageous, but then you will remember this. It is I. I am there with you. No matter whatever people say, it's I. I am there. Be courageous. So all this way, it will help us. So these messages is with the plan of God to help us, not only right now, in our future, and also to give help to others. This is how we help others, you know. Suppose somebody come, oh, you can you pray for me? Oh, no, 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 I'm not a priest. I cannot pray for you. You go to the priest. That is not our answer. When somebody come and ask for a prayer, yes, yes, what's your problem? Tell me what's your problem. Then she started planning all the problems and we started crying. Oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> then first thing we think, oh, comparing to my problem. <laughs> or, and then we, we listen first these problems. Listen, not in our head, but in our heart. So the Holy Spirit will give a consolation already. So after all the prayer is over, okay, we pray. Then at least we pray our Father prayer. Let us together pray our Father prayer. And then we'll say, thank you, thank you. I feel now very consoled. Correct? Mm -hmm. So this is how we have to help the humanity. People have to help one another in this way. Mm -hmm. Who don't have problems? Mm -hmm. But the situation is nobody has time to listen to the problem of other person. Mm -hmm. Jesus spent personally time with many people. Yeah. He went at noon time only to meet a woman who had a lot of problem, Samaritan woman, and he heard his problems like that. So evangelization is not only taking the mic and preaching, it is person to person listening to the problems and listening to help in each person. That is the way Jesus also was dealing with the situation. Sometimes Jesus is speaking public, but sometimes Jesus leading personally. Okay. okay. Thank you very Thank much. You. Is the image the same as the as the scripture piece? Are they both word of knowledge? Yeah, yeah. Yes, they are they're both, both are word of knowledge, but we need more interpretation okay. of those yeah. things. That we will come to know that later. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thanks. Thank you. So my name is Sandra and there was five in our group and um, everyone that prayed for me, they all got words of knowledge and everyone that I prayed for, I didn't get anything. <laughs> so I got nothing. Don't worry, yeah. <laughs> you came late. Yeah. No. <laughs> I, was here. I was here from the start. <laughs> you were there from the start? Well, I was a little bit late, only about <laughs> maybe an hour or about uh, Anyway, okay. We will handle it, don't worry. <laughs> so at least you see it is functioning in other people. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. So it is functioning. Yeah. It can function in us also. Yeah. Yeah. That's Very the first, that's the thing. If it is functioning in other people, why can't it function in you also? Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. You have that conference now? Yes, brother. Yes. yes. So now next time. It will be different. Day three, brother. Yeah? Day three. <laughs> 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 we were just talking about that. I, I will have words of knowledge on day three. You yes. will have? I will have words of knowledge from my group on day three. That's what oh. I told you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. Okay, okay next, please. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. 
Yes. My name is Nora, and I've done a few different workshops, but nothing like this before, where we had to pray with others. Um, I found it, um, it was lovely, really. Um, I could feel the Holy Spirit. I could feel the coldness in my body at some times, and I could feel the warmth in other times. Um, it was very spiritual. Um, I got words, well, kind of like something in my heart for for some people, and something came in, into my head for others. But what I got was, um, for, one of, for the guy that was in our group, I got, Speak, Lord, your servant is listening. So whatever way you want to interpret that, um, either you listen or you have to speak. I, I don't know. I got one love for another lady and peace for uh, another lady. And when I was getting the peace, I really felt the peace myself. I felt that the, that there was such a peace around me as well. So it wasn't just the person that had the peace, but I also had peace for myself. So that was lovely. Um, wonderful. This came from one of the ladies. And I just felt I could see the lovely smile. I could see that, you know, it, it, it was genuinely beautiful wonderful and courage it is I I got that word courage so I think maybe telling myself as well that I need to have courage sometimes and just stand up there and say courage it's I that Jesus is there with me I felt that that was it was for me as much as it was for the other person um, I got lovely words from from the group and it was really lovely um, about a double edged sword and your words are spirit and they are life I got that from one of the ladies and another lady said to me, you are the chosen one, you are chosen by God, and goodness and kindness will follow. I thought that was beautiful to get something like that. I thought that was very reassuring for me. Um, encouragement and the scripture was coming, and knowledge from another. So that's what I got. Very good. Now, one more question is, uh, now you, can you explain a little bit how for the help of others, you know, those who, who are in the growing, how these words uh, are articulated in your inner senses? Well, for, um, into my heart, I could feel the love into my heart and I could feel that it was something, you know, it was something profound. Uh, and you heard like a voice, love, peace. A voice I felt came. it, I felt it. Felt, uh, felt, I felt peace. It. I felt peace. Yeah, that's very interesting. Yeah. And now, so you felt, and love, yeah. you felt suddenly a peace. Mm -hmm. That's very interesting. You know, whether we go to Medjugorje or to Nok, what is the first feeling you have? Peace. 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 <laughs> the moment we come here or we go to Medjugorje, we feel an unusual peace. Mm, yeah. And the same thing we can have in this type of a... So peace is God himself. You see every holy mass say, my peace I give to you. So all this is a very, very important way of the Holy Spirit is working. So we can also pray every day, oh Lord, give me peace. We may be surrounded with so many turbulent situations. So he can give you peace. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Great, great. Next person in this group. Ah, oh, thank you. Hi, my name is Maren. This is my first time through something like this. Um, I was a fortunate guy to get four women in a group of me. <laughs> very, very fortunate there. So I had a lot of uh, different experience going on there with the girls. Um, really, when I was doing some um, some prayer in there, um, with some of them there, I was speaking in, um, I could find myself praying in tongues. Do you know? But I didn't understand what I was saying or doing. But also I could... One day in particular I got a... Um, kind of colours was coming to me, you know. Um, but I didn't know what it meant uh, to say it to this lady or that, you know. So... Um, 
but that's what I was getting uh, from it the second time round we were doing some prayers there's a group there and there was another lady there and um, we were kind of praying with her you know and when I was uh, when we were doing the prayers and speaking in the Holy, or the Holy Spirit as we were saying tongues um, I could visualise Jesus standing amongst her you know mm-hmm. and he was in he was kind of embracing her. Mm. He was standing over and he was embracing her, you know, mm. um, letting her know that he was comforting her. That's yeah. not. That's what I got from it, you know. Yeah. Um, myself, there was one there about um, someone told me there about scripture, uh, about peace, a uh, king of kings or something like that, and. Um, there was another lady who was telling me something there about triangle or fence or things like that. But, uh, yeah, it was, it was interesting, you know? It's interesting, you know? You feel really happy? I feel happy that I helped somebody. I yeah. felt I helped somebody out. Um, did I get something from it? I don't know, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, Everything we cannot know. What knows. Yeah. And one very important point is you felt the real presence of God yeah. in the midst, that is what Jesus said, where two or three gather together in my name, I am there. Yeah. That is exactly you had. But that's what I said to the yeah, lady. Exactly. That's what I said it's to the lady. It's not simply theory, it is really truth. Mm-hmm. See, we meet several places, but we never try to uh, enjoy in this way. We may meet in a coffee shop and we talk so many things. We may meet in a pub, we may meet in a, so many places, but we speak so many other things. But we never think, shall we make a little prayer together? And then we feel the presence of God. And God started speaking one another. So this is the way. It is. So what we are going to gain is we are going to get a real practical way. Now these two people, three people meeting, any play, every day we may be able to have in different scenario. Everywhere we may not be able to do like this, but at least among the people of faith we can at least uh, uh, two minutes let us just think about God. Think about God and pray. Mm-hmm. And then it happens. Yeah. Thank you very much. But um, yeah. there was one stage there when we were um, when we were praying and we started as, as a group. There um, we were like speaking, "Come, Holy Spirit, in essence." And I got in this pattern of speaking in tongues. Yes. But um, it's happening recently. I don't know what. what now, what? now you are speaking in tongues first time, or you know? Oh, you it, it, it is in a while I've been speaking this, yeah. but it's recently now. If there's if we had a group of those prayers, can it come on, on but more, then it's more stronger. more more stronger on it. Um, but there was kind of a lot of, when I was praying myself, there was lots of different colors yeah. um, on, but I didn't know what they symbolized. Yeah. So symbolized that, of all them these are also have, that is called interpretation of tongues. So okay. we need, that will be another gift that I will talk about. Now I did not, I have not explained any of the gifts. This is just an opening session. Now I will explain the each gifts and how it's working. Then you will say, ah, this is how I saw this. Okay, okay, yeah. yes. So now it is only an initial thing. Perfect. The real driving is going to take place. Yes. Well, <laughs> I'm looking forward to going to second gear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very Thank much. You. Yes. <laughs> These sharings will bring a lot of fluidity, a lot of fluidity for everybody. Oh, oh it will work, it will work. Huh? It will work. Yes. yes. Hello. Hello, my name is Josephine. Josephine. Yeah. Better known as Josie. Yeah. Josie. Josie, Josie, ah! <laughs> <laughs> yes, Josie. Um, this is my first time here.
I was trying hard to make up something, to understand it, or to feel the words that people were talking that I didn't have really. So because it's a completely new experience for me, I was kind of half afraid. Yes. Mm -hmm. I, because it's great to be here, it's lovely to meet everybody, but I've often heard it said, you never let people pray with you because you don't know who they are. But this seems to be a completely different Amen. type of group, um, a group of the Holy Spirit. And um, so I don't know what I have to offer to you today, but I'm delighted to be here. It's a learning curve for me. And I just came up here to really to honor Jesus and to thank him for being here, rather than coming up to tell you what I had in here, because I don't know what's in here. <laughs> um, um, if I'm making myself clear, I'm sure there's lots of people out there that probably could identify with me. I like the bit of faith that I've been given. And <coughs> in whatever way the Lord wants me to share that with others, he will teach me, I'm sure. I'm the kind of person, really, I love the Blessed Sacrament, absolutely love the Blessed Sacrament. could stay with the Blessed Sacrament for as long as time allows. Sometimes, selfishly, you love to be there with them on your own, and you feel, you know, it's great. But I think a seminar like this, or um, being taught like this, maybe the Holy Spirit is teaching me to be able in a way, not to be selfish with Jesus on my own, but to be able to share maybe whatever he wants me to share with other people without being, you know, going on about things too much. So I'm a, I'm a beginner, very much baby steps here. And um, thank you. So. Now, group number two is over, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, group number three, please come, one by one. Group number three. Yes. Uh, so, hi. <laughs> uh, my name is Catherine, and... Um, uh, so this is my first experience with this workshop and um, uh, so we all got together and prayed for one another. Um, I didn't see anything or hear anything as such, but I did, yeah, I saw once I saw like a, a, a gate, a wooden gate opening, I don't know what it meant. And I didn't know whether it was just in my mind or whether it was mm -hmm. the Holy Spirit. And uh, then, um, uh, so other people prayed for me and uh, the uh, Peggy, I think it was, got a scripture piece and it was uh, the one where God says, uh, I have known you since you were formed in your mother's womb. Mm -hmm. And uh, um, uh, Brian, so uh, something about flowers. I wasn't sure what that was about. Um, they thought it might be about growth or something like that, or Saint Teresa. And uh, Michael, I, I'm not sure what he. I forget. <laughs> I forget what some of the words were. My I have them written down somewhere. But, uh, okay. Very good. So, okay. are you happy? I'm happy. I'm happy. Very Thank good. you very yeah. much. Thank you. Welcome. Welcome. So it is beginning, don't worry. Yeah. Now, number next, please. Come, speak at least one or two sentences that will, that will break, <laughs> that will give some anointing. When you speak for the Lord, she has no fear. She was reading in the church the whole... Well, actually... <laughs> And something is, I can uh, read, that would be my gift, I can read something in front of me, but I'm not, uh, I'm not good in, um, 
I'm not good in this uh, in um in this type of situation yeah, really. Don't worry. But um you will uh, well, I've been in prayer groups over the years but uh maybe not so specifically that kind of thing. Uh that girl other people confirmed that it might be something opening that, you know, she got the gift and then she uh got the picture and then some other people may have to put the the picture t together and that it could be uh, opening up. Um, I didn't think of it now, but we actually, there's a path um, that's been done up near our land, Lake Grant, but you know, there's, there's, wooden, uh, there's wooden gates on that too. So, you know, maybe something to do with the, it's called Born and Eve, it's, it's a walkway, you know, it, it was an old, it was loops done along an old, um, an old ancient path, um, local. Um, so, um, uh, yeah, somebody, some, um, it, praying with people for healing, that isn't out of my, I read, do you know, um, at, at half seven mass, um, but um, somebody got a, a, a word for me today um, on the line of healing. Um, so, um, um, it's not, a, I do visit an aunt and I'd be praying and I don't see a change. Same with my mother, you know, when you're praying with old people and you're, you're <laughs> wanting to see them. So, uh, but, um, so, um, thank the Lord for, for that because it might be, uh, it's, um, encouraging that I'm likely to be still visiting an aunt and uncle and, you know, that, um, uh, that I could give them help in, in the way of, of healing or open to the Lord or something. So, thanks for that. I don't okay, so, thank you. Okay. So, this is work on it. This is work on it. We have another two days. <laughs> right, okay. Yes, next. Yeah, Michael. Michael and uh, we formed the group uh, as my predecessors told already so I'm from Germany and um, we pray together and our main intention was uh, to pray for opening the gifts and actually many visions and word of God we get was confirming this like opening the gate or <laughs> open uh, it was uh, like a, s a sunrise and flowers and um, Actually, we had nobody. Well, I first I prayed. Okay, we have nobody now with the Bible, and somebody came with the gift of the Word of God, which strongly confirmed the visions. Mm -hmm. Yes, and in some parts we could, or I could see, for example, there is a gift in somebody, and I did not want to tell this, but then uh, I asked, uh, please confirm, Holy Spirit, if it's right or not, and then a vision came, which is confirming this. So that was the point. And yeah, we are not finished in our group, so we have to do more, but it, actually it was uplifting. So all the feeling is that we are sharing this because then some, another person came late who, who has a gift who feels if some, some warmth is coming. Mm -hmm. And this I feel very, yeah, if you pray for something that it feels really a sensation. Yes, so it was a great experience actually in our group. Mm -hmm. So. Okay, very Thank good. You. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Next, please. Hi. Yes. So you okay? Hello, my name is Brian. And uh, when we started to pray uh, down before the little session, um, I felt a very strong sense of the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. and um, almost tears came, like I felt that there was great power. Um, and so um, I, I've, I, I've done a little of this on Zoom before, you know, but not much, like I didn't feel I was getting very much, uh, you know, and 
we came late here today, but um, good to be here nonetheless. Um, but when we were praying, um, I got a, a word, um, someone, flower, um, yeah, it was a lady here, and uh, it was um, the little way came, you know, St. Saint, Saint Therese, and I think you said you sometimes go to a prayer meeting. Oh, we pray to St. Therese. St. Therese, oh yeah. Um, and um, there was another, um, it was like, it was uh, Eileen, um, about the tree, um, it came to me that she, it's faith, you know, related to faith and that her, her roots, you know, deep roots, um, and that she's faithful. And I, I know she lives around Knock here, so um, I guess I thought about it that maybe living here and that she she gets the, the prayer and adoration and everything. It's uh, it's connected with that, you know. And um, the other the other little word I got was um, with strength when we we're praying with the uh, is it Michael and. Uh, and then it was uh, the joy of the Lord is my strength. Mm -hmm. it just came. Um, you didn't to sing that song, okay? The joy of the Lord is <laughs> okay. Um, and when they were praying with me, um, as Michael saw sun, sun and uh, flowers, and uh, they they asked me, and the other lady Peggy asked me, was was I in some ministry, and. I said nothing specific, but myself and my wife has been speaking about it recently, like uh, trying to, you know, little thoughts and sharing little ideas about things that we might do, you know. So even on the way over here, we're just praying about this, you know. So um, it's, it's great to be here. And um, I, guess, I guess that's, that's all. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Next, in that group. Yes, Peggy, come. As far as Peggy is great. Yes, come a little more. Okay. Yes. Well, I'm Peggy, and uh, it's not my first workshop. I, the privilege of, uh, I think, is my third one on charisms and two on the prophetic gift in Germany. And I'll just confirm everything that Michael said and uh, Brian. Um, you know, we, we prayed with each other, and the very first uh, person, um, just, just words coming into my... I didn't hear anything, but just words on my heart and I wasn't going to share it because I thought it was my own imagination and uh, just didn't, didn't share it and it kept coming and coming and then somewhere in the distance in another group over there I had the very same words for <laughs> you I knew I had to share it and as Michael said you know there was beautiful words of um, knowledge for each one a uh, scriptural um, we had uh, scriptures and the visions, uh, pieces of scripture, confirmed the visions, and it was it was beautiful. That's it, brother. Okay, so it is good that we all have Bible, but now hmm. we can get some Bibles here. More, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you. I think most people have their Bible with yeah. them, have they? Yeah. 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 No. <laughs> but it's it's very important to have it when in the workshop in your group. Is, uh, uh, Michael pointed that out, yeah. yeah. Okay. okay, so next, uh, next, yeah, sorry, give me that mic. Oh, sorry. <laughs> next, in this group, is it all, in this group, everybody else? Okay. Yeah, come. In the last few minutes. Of the yeah, interview. but you can give what impression you had in this group. <laughs> so we have we, we, we have a priest. See, it's a very big blessing. You are, uh, we have a priest in this group. 
That's a big blessing. So you can just explain okay. what you heard and what. Amigos, hello. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so my name is Antun, and I'm priest. Uh, Father Antun. Father Antun, yes. yes. Okay, thank you. And I'm priest in the parish of Roscre. I just came uh, during the prayer, the last 20 minutes or so. And normally I don't hear the words like this or something like that. You know, sometimes I might open the Bible and that's how the, the Lord speaks to me, let's say. But this time we are praying for this gentleman there, our brother. And I can just feel the heat coming, coming to my head and going out. You know. that's just, it was just, you know. That's it, exactly. Yeah. So that's what, that's you know, that's the only thing. The point, yeah. That's the only thing I, I really felt. Yeah, so yeah. it's God, yeah. This is, as a priest, this is very important, you know. And I, I tell you, when you stand for preaching, maybe you might have made your preaching with everything, mm -hmm. with uh, writing, but then as you stand for preaching, something else is coming. Then it you happens give it yeah, many times, and yeah. you, It happens, no? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. That's how Holy Spirit works. Yeah, yeah. Then all, the whole night we prayed and prepared a talk or a preaching, that goes away and exactly something else is coming yeah. yes. which is really need of the people. Yes. Yeah. And Michael explained that to Father when he had, Father shared about the heat and Michael explained uh, you know that it was for the other person Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, yeah. Uh, and it also confirmed the word of God about the Lord is enlightening his mind you know. Thank you. Thank you. That's very good. That's very good. Excellent. That one point is good enough. Yeah. Okay. Scott, yeah. You and anything else? No, that's, that was all. Really. Okay. okay. That was Thank all. you very much. Thank you. I hope you will stay with us three days. Uh, or I can stay until tomorrow some part uh, okay. in the afternoon. I have to go. I'm on my own in the parish. So. Oh, okay. 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 At go. least you came yeah. today. Thank you. And uh, so much. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Now. Group number four. Group number four. So does anybody want to know? Go on. You're ahead of me. Mary, go ahead. There. Go on. I don't mind going, but Mary, go on. You're ahead of me. Yeah, okay. Yes. Mary, come, come, come. She was in Medjugorje with me. Incidentally, she met, we met in Medjugorje. Yes. <laughs> Very good. Thank you. Well, brother, we had, uh, I think it was five lovely oh, ladies. Oh, 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 fine moment. Mm -hmm. Yes. My name is Mary, by the way, and we had five women in our group. And brother, there was a lot of things came up. But um, when they start talking and on the second lady, I felt the tears coming as well, brother, very <laughs> strongly. And also at the end of our, the last lady, um, this tremendous peace and this presence came all over me. And I said to the girls, does anybody else, you know, feeling this beautiful peace? And so um, we had a number of things come up, like one lady, um, um, a vision that her mother, she was very close to her mother, and also another one that um, she, uh, she was praying a lot for the holy souls and that they were very close to her. And um, yeah, when, when uh, there's one girl in our group, this girl, and she's blessed with visions and she had a vision for everybody. Yes. And praise God, she'll tell you more because you know, yeah. you remember so much. But uh, she prayed for me at the end, you know, and brother, uh, she got a lovely vision of uh, me as a young girl in school, very happy. <laughs> and then she got a vision like of tall grass, and it was like that I was a bit trapped in the grass, mm. but I had broken free, <coughs> and it was all blossoming, and that was true, you know, because I can testify to that. Yes. And then she said to me, uh, a beautiful vision of the Lord with the lamb, like I was on his back like the lamb, brother. Mm. <laughs> Praise, he was carrying me, right? <laughs> And just, brother, just a couple of minutes after, I turned my head and I said, look, look, he's there exactly as you've seen him, you know. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Yeah. So this beautiful yeah. peace and presence, brother. Sure. 
was astounding. So you feel very consoled. I feel very consoled. <laughs> very. <laughs> she really had some difficulties. Yes. She yes. came to me as a doctor. Yeah, worry. praise that. It yes, will, the peace. It, it will happen. Today. Yes, praise <laughs> God. So thank you so much. Yeah. And very much. Very much. Thank you. Thank you. Now you cannot escape. Come. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Mary. Thank you. Uh, so we have such visionaries with us. Oh, I don't know. Holy Spirit. Yes. Okay, so hello. I'm Karen. Yes. Um, so uh, this is not maybe my first time at this, but it's actually uh, been a long time um, in person. We did a course last year, my husband and I, called Encounters. So we did a lot of this on Zoom. So when I was when we learned the how to uh, prophesy or how to get the Holy Spirit, I um, I was very surprised at how quickly visions would come to me or you know to others, and it just gave me more and more confidence. And I had fun with the Lord. I just was like, okay, close my eyes. So just today it was lovely to be with the ladies. I felt very comfortable and welcome, and I just felt the Holy Spirit really come upon us. And when I closed my eyes. You know, I just felt, Lord, please just give me what you need. Was, you know, and I just felt the love of the Lord towards everybody as they're in their childhood. Um, I could see with different women that came up, um, just visions that came very strongly of their childhood. You know, um, and I just felt like the Lord was just saying to um, that I, I see everything. I see everything and I'm watching you and in a way that's like so loving and um, I suppose uh, we got the image for um, one lady you know there with the lovely the going through the grass and I just felt that she was wrapped up in the grass and it was all she told you already but there was another lady there that I felt that she had a fear of going out and for her walks um, that there was some kind of like I suppose being trapped and that was confirmed in some ways. But a, a big thing that came as well was the the sunshine coming in um, on, you know, the Holy Spirit. Um, I could just feel brightness. I felt just felt today the Lord just was saying, I love you. I, um, I want you to be with me. There was a one lady I was just saying as well that she's spending a lot of time running around the place and she's not being present with the Lord. She's not getting the word of God in her and just the Lord like misses her, wants to be with her. And um, yeah, I, uh, the word that I got um, was persevere, uh, keep going, know me, um, you know, do, just be intimate with me. I want to be with you. And um, that was something very strong. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if I'm explaining it very yeah, well. Very but, uh, yeah, we need, see, this is the good thing when we meet so many people, uh, we will learn that in 1 Corinthians 12, St. Paul says, we are a body of Christ, mm -hmm. like in one body, different uh, members. Mm -hmm. Now this small finger is small, but this is needed for the body. Mm -hmm. And similarly, a body needs a heart, a soul, a head, but also the small finger. Mm -hmm. So like that, we are different <laughs> members with different uh, activities. So that is how on Caddism it is written. So everybody has different ways, you know, and all that together become the body of Christ. Mm. So but it's so important that the, we know that the Lord wants to have it, enjoy being with us. Yes. Even if we don't get visions, just yes. sit there and yes. enjoy yeah. Him. Yeah. Just, and if this so, is... We yeah. must sing the joy of the Lord is my strength. Can you sing that? <laughs> I, yeah, uh, this lady probably. The joy of the Lord. I don't know how it goes. The Lord is my strength. The joy of the Lord is my strength. The joy of the Lord is my strength. The joy of the Lord is my strength. Ooh, praise God. Thank you, Jesus. He gives me living water and I thirst no more. He gives me living water and I thirst no more. The joy of the Lord is my strength. Yay, okay. praise God. Thank you. Hallelujah. Yes. Next, next, please. Thank you. Thank you. So, 
Next from group number four, please come, 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 everybody. Our time is running. Uh, Sorry, Joseph. Yes, yes, yes. Pope Francis always say, we are not people always like in a cemetery. We must be joyful. <laughs> we must be smiling. Yes, yes. Come on, ready. My name is Josephine. Josephine. And what Josie over here said is nearly what I want to say. <laughs> That's the way I <laughs> feel. Both of see as something yeah, going. <laughs> yeah. But, um, it was the peace and the anointing I felt when we got into the That's room. That's very important. And absolutely, it was just a beautiful, peaceful feeling. And the sharing as well. And that's, you know, when you heard all these people speaking, what did you feel? Absolutely more at ease, number one. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, this is my first time to do yeah. this as well. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. After For me, it's a numerous time I, I had know. already. So I, I am really thanking God. Yeah. This is how it begins. But comparatively, in many places, on the very first day, God is doing great things. Yes, yes. 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 The very yeah. first day. I did not even explain any of the catechisms. But even without that, see that it is sprouting, it is bringing up. Yes, yes. yes. Okay. <coughs> thank, thank, thank you, brother. Thank you very much. I did not uh, give much talk because half of you are not here. <laughs> so, so I thought I will talk later on. So that's going to come. Okay, now next person, please. Next, in the group number four. In group number four, who? Ah, oh, you. Yes. <laughs> come, come, come. Come, come, come. You see, Pope, Pope Francis says, no one must be deprived of the joy of <laughs> yeah, I was so. one of the ladies told me that the joy, in joy of my Lord is my strength. I thank her for it. I thank yeah. the Lord. Yeah. And I, I, I thank the Lord for what was said to me. You know, I just, she must be talking about someone else. Okay. <laughs> but um, I feel now, I don't know why the Lord has put this on me. Uh, I want to share it. Yes. I was a young girl and married. And. I was remember being in at um, Our Lady of Perpetual Help novena, and at that novena, at some stage, I said to the Lord, "I am doing all the right things. I'm going to confessions. I'm going to mass. I'm saying my prayers." And then I thought of other people. They seemed to be joyful, maybe, or they had something. I said, "Lord." Then people have something I haven't got, even though I'm doing all the right things. What is it? Mm -hmm. So before that novena was over, and you said it there, the dormant, the spirit was in me, but he was very dormant. <laughs> and I got this beautiful joy that I never had in my life and the tears and I was crying and I was for a few days now of course it doesn't last and it was if the Lord says now you've got it go ahead do my work I, just, I don't know why I felt prompted so the, and I'd have to say my grandmother God bless all the grandmothers Amen. And uh, I just felt the Lord put it on me to share that today. No. And I, th I thank you, uh, thank everyone. I thank the Lord for bringing me here today. I thank you for brother. We need it so much in the world today. The joy of the Lord. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Don't you feel that she is like a preacher? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is the gift of preaching. This is a gift of preaching. Now any prayer meeting you call her. This is exactly the gift of preaching. Isn't it, Father? Yes. Absolutely. That's what. So thank you very much. Thank you all.
Anybody else in this group? Yeah. Oh, one by one coming. <laughs> that was exciting. Spirits inspire me, please. My name is Carmel. Um, my first time as a workshop like this. Um, I didn't get a word for anybody, but the ladies in the group did for me. As one lady said about going for a walk and they could see a wood on either side and the path come through us. That wood exactly beside my house, plus I have a wood on my own ground, but not with the path going through us, with a wood either side. So I was, uh, probably last year, going through the wood. I always went that direction, because this is lovely, uh, it's up Mount Falcon. And I um, had my young dog, he was only, he's only a young pup as such, and we are coming home, and I could smell something unusual. And then I saw a guy, and he looked funny, and my dog got afraid, and I got afraid. I said, you're not strong enough to the dog. He was only young, so I haven't gone back near the wood since. But I, another lady said, I used to pray when I used to go out walking. Yes, that's true. I'd go along the roads walking and I'd have my rosary beads and I would say a couple of rosaries. But now I do it in the car, not on the roads. Um, then somebody else said something about walking. They didn't know how part of the scripture or walking the shoes. I don't know what that means. But um, I know the Holy Spirit does guide me or inspire me. There's something major coming up in my life soon. I did know how to word this stuff for the thing. And on Wednesday night, I was sitting after saying a few prayers and reading some scripture. Um, words, stuff started coming into my head, the inspiration, however, I took the refill pad. I ended up writing three pages and I went to the computer yesterday and I typed it up and please God I have it all ready because I was afraid coming here today in case I wouldn't have stuff ready. And um, Medjugorje has, be has been very good to me, I have to admit, and I have to say it publicly. Um, another lady said about tears, floods of tears, she didn't know what it means. I just don't know, I hope. It's joyful tears that's going to happen from what's going to coming up soon in my life. And um, I was in Medjugorje in 2019 and 2018. And I was very hurt when I was over, went over, and I got fantastic healing in Medjugorje. And I thank God for it. I went to a lovely priest, and he's in Box 24, Confessional Box 24, Dutch and English. And I got lovely healing. And one evening, myself and one of the girls went up the mountains, 2019. And Barbara said to me, Carmel, uh, Father Leo said, you have to kneel down at 20 to 6, that's when Our Lady appears. Mm -hmm. So we knelt down, we're doing the stations of Preparation Hill. And even though we couldn't hear the bells, we looked at our watch and we knelt down. And for what reason, I took out my mobile phone after we prayed and I took a picture of the sun. Why? I don't know. But that night, that was a Monday evening, and we had to be out of our rooms on Tuesday morning early. And I was sitting on the bed, looking at my phone, photographs for the week. And lo and behold, the picture of the sun came. And I don't know why I enlarged it. This is true. And it's on my phone. I always hope I don't use my phone. And this, when you enlarge the sun, you can see the heart pulsating, pumping. And I showed it to the late Jim Brown, and he said to me, you got a miracle there, Carmel. So I showed it to somebody else here in Ock, and just told me, oh, you're delusionist, you're imagining it. But I showed it, shared it with the group in Medjugorje that I was with recently in the last two weeks, and they could see it, so I know I'm not gone crazy. And when I was in Medjugorje <coughs> recently, um, at the Risen Christ, I normally have my Bible with me, and I open. I ask God to tell me something about what's going to come up soon. So the wedding feast, the Cana, came up in the Bible, and I read it, and I, I called the footnotes at the end, and it meant nothing to me. 
and then I wondered it was night time and I wandered back and I thought maybe St. James's chapel might be opened and I met Deacon Anthony who's going to be ordained soon, wandered and, and um, I said then I'd go back home but the bookshop was about to close so you still could go in so I was looking at the Got the English section, looked at it, and um, this book started drawing me. And I know I have a good few of them at home, or at least two of them at home, and I was on uh, Rosary and Reflections. And I decided, I picked it up, and I decided to open the Luminous Mystery, the Wedding Feast of Cana. And I got my answer through that reflection. Uh, pray to Jesus through Mary. Mm -hmm and believe and it will happen you will succeed and maybe the floods of tears is yeah. the joy and then last saturday i was down with Eddie stone and i know the lady of the house gave us the crucifix that her lady blesses on christmas day as in Medjugorje. so i was going to confessions and the last and the man was going around and he he would pick one or two people only, not many, and he'd say, put that on, and he'd come over to me, put that on and do not take it off. <laughs> so I have put on the crucifix, and that's blessed by Our Lady with Jesus, so I know our Lord and Jesus is with me and Amen. guiding me. Amen. 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 This is also a gift of preaching. <laughs> What are you doing now? God. What is preaching? Preaching is first to express your God experience. Yes. Understand? Mm -hmm. Understand? Mm -hmm. yeah. So you have a gift of preaching. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Anybody else in the last group? Yes, yes please come. Come, come. She left. Oh, okay. So now everybody completed here and here. So now, uh, the next session is, I should give a, a real talk on the charisms before the next workshop begins. So, I think, uh, oh, you must come. Huh? 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 All right, okay. So, uh, before, I think better now we, uh, we, go for the supper and come back and then I start that, okay? Yeah. So, uh, how long you need? Now it's, it's already 10 minutes to 6. Okay. So, can you come back by 7? Yeah. Is it possible to come back by 7? Uh, or 7.15? We're going to take, I'm going to go to half 7 masses. Oh, I, think huh? I might go to mass at half 7. Half 7 mass. Oh. Half 7. <laughs> But uh, we have to give the talk, we have to give a talk, we have to have a talk at 7 or 7.30. So latest by 7.15 you must, eh? Eh? So then you don't go for supper now? No, well, there's a few that's booked in with the election and supper is 6. Yeah. How many of you are in the booked for? Yeah, four of us. Yeah. And, uh, so, because generally it is a supper time for everybody, you know. So, know. Well, the stomach will be calling you. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
some. Sorry, but Father just suggested if I explain the situation to brothers. You know. Yeah, you explain, or you take the food. You Who's can take the food away and keep it. Well, that's what they did the last time. But then, <laughs> is it possible? You take the food and bring it here, and we can eat later. That's okay. That's okay. That's no problem. I'm, I'm just saying what they were saying. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So we continue then. Okay. Then let's sing a song. Maybe we stand up and sing a song, please. 